Well, as you know, I have been seeing Rosa's father. Uh-huh. And uh, how's that going? <sighs> At first, it was wonderful. He was handsome, charming, and a raging bull in the sack. No mental pictures. Push him out. Don't give him to me. But what I didn't realize is the man has the emotional stability of a bag of rats in a burning meth lab. What did he do? That's what he didn't do. Okay, what didn't he do? Leave. <laughs> now, a couple of days of Viagra-enhanced boinking, and he suddenly thinks he lives with me. He's moving my furniture around. He's getting his mail forwarded. He had a satellite dish installed. Did he get the NFL package? <laughs> Charlie, please, this is not funny. This man is obsessed with me. He will not let me out of his sight. Wherever I go, there he is. With a stupid, lovesmith look on his face, you just want to hit him with a shovel. Well, what do you want us to do? Come over to my house and hit him with a shovel. Wouldn't it be easier to keep feeding him Viagra until he strokes out? Charlie, don't be ridiculous. That could take months. Come on now, guys, think. How can I get this loon out of my house? I say we bring in some expert help. Way ahead of you. Rose? Yes, Charlie? Road trip. Oh, goody, I'll meet you in the garage. <laughs> Daddy? Oh, Rose, good. You got my change of address card. <laughs> and there's my other favorite gal. Hello, Harvey. Where were you putting Pop? I was worried sick. I just went out. I didn't see you leave. That's because I climbed out the laundry room window. Oh, aren't you a limber little minx? <laughs> Daddy, we need to talk. Yes, right away, honey. Hey, fellas, are you ready for some football? Abby, <laughs> why don't you get our guests some cold drinks? Yes, of course, dear. Garden shed, shovel, bag of lime. Daddy, listen to me very closely. Okay. You don't live here. Yes, I do. Look at me. We've been through this before, remember? The pretty receptionist at your psychiatrist's office. Oh, yeah. Cheryl. She had a mean lawyer. <laughs> But this is different. Evelyn and I are in love, and we're going to get married. Isn't that right, Puddin' Pop? Not if you were the last crazy man on Earth. <laughs> Guys, feel free to call me Dad. I no, thank you. Daddy, pay attention. OK. I know what it feels like to be so in love with someone, you want to crawl inside them so that you're wearing their skin like a leotard with nipples. <laughs> But what I've learned is that not everyone is ready for that kind of intimacy. Take me and Charlie, for example. We slept together two years ago, realized how much better we were as friends, and we haven't done it again since. We haven't? You were too drunk. I was gonna tell you eventually. <laughs> then why'd you let me think we did? Because it doesn't make any difference. I'm in this for the long haul. <laughs> You know, sweetheart, when Evie and I get married, Charlie will be your stepbrother. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, Trey Kinky. Rose, stick with the plan. Okay. Daddy, I didn't want to have to do this, but I brought someone else here to talk to you. Who? Come on in, Grandma. You brought Mother? Harvey. How many times have I told you not to leave the estate without telling me? Ah, oh, Mom. Playtime's over. Get in the car. We're going home. But, Mom, we're getting married. To this trash? I don't think so. Excuse me? Roll with it, Mom. I'm counting to three, Harvey. One, two... I'm going. I'm... Keep the robe. Thanks. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Do you want me to put you over my knee? All right, I'm going. He's really a good boy. But these things happen when you marry a first cousin. Uh, 
I'd say they're lucky to have thumbs. <laughs> Okay, what have you done? Beg your pardon? That sweet, naive hick you're marrying might buy this loving, cooperative attitude, but not your mommy. Hey, can a fella just be excited about floral centerpieces? A gay fella. <laughs> you're feeling guilty about something. What is it? Nothing. I got nothing to feel guilty about. Okay, okay, okay. Now you give him your underwear. <laughs> Charlie? I'm not really sure what I did. So, a drunken escapade? Is there another kind of escapade? <laughs> well, whatever you do, don't tell Chelsea about it. Confession may be good for this soul, but it's a hot lead enema to a marriage. <laughs> oh, I know, but I've got these freaky memory flashes and I feel so guilty. Trust me, those memories will fade with time. How do you know? Let me tell you a story. Many years ago, when I was married to your second stepfather. The Carpet King? Well, I called him that. It wasn't his occupation. <laughs> anyway, he was away on business, and you and your brother were in summer camp, or somewhere. <laughs> and I, well, I was lonely, bored, and the circus was in town. <laughs> Motel 6. Clown makeup <laughs> smeared all over my bosom. I was alone. The Chinese acrobats, the strong man, the little people moved on to the next town. Oh my God! <laughs> what did you do then? Well, what could I do? I showered, plucked the sequins from my hoo hoo, <laughs> held my head up, got on with my life. And you never told the carpet king? No, of course not. I loved him too much. Your second stepfather was the third best thing that ever happened to me. Behind me and Alan? Sure. Hey, Charlie. Oh, hey, Russell. It's my mother, Evelyn, my brother, Alan. Hi. Oh, hey. hi, nice to meet you. Can I interest you folks in a codeine popsicle? <laughs> it's my own invention. I think we're good, Russell. If you suck on one of these, you'll be great. <laughs> I call it springtime on a stick. Yeah, listen, my mom needs some... Uh... Mm -hmm. Mom? <laughs> Birth control pills. You have a prescription? <laughs> Kidding, uh... we're all friends here. <laughs> Come on back, and I'll show you our selection. Oh, aren't you a doll? <laughs> and I'm anatomically correct. <laughs> oh, good to know. Why did she ask for birth control pills? Gee, Alan, I don't know. Maybe she didn't want to leave with her dry hoo-ha. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, but this time, let's be clear. Do we run on go or just three? <laughs> There's no running. Let's set her up with Russell. Oh, gee, I'm not so sure that's a good match. When the hell did this become e-harmony? <laughs> we just need to get her out of our hair. Oh, right, right. Follow my lead. Thanks, Russell. These will be just fine. <laughs> What do I owe you? Oh, it's on the house. Any mom of Charlie's is a potential lifelong customer of mine. <laughs> Too sweet. Or it could just be Mr. Popsicle talking. <laughs> hey, listen, Russell, uh, we're having a little birthday dinner for mom tonight, so if you're not doing anything, maybe you'd like to join us. Uh, what a wonderful idea. I'd love to. What can I bring? Xanax, Ritalin? <laughs> what do you serve? Chinese takeout. Then perhaps something from the opiate family. <laughs> Bring whatever you want. Done and done. <laughs> and I will see you later, birthday girl. Well, I'll see you later, anatomically correct boy. <laughs> so around seven? With bells on. Thanks for the invite. You're welcome. You poor, clueless bastard. <laughs> hey, there he is. High five. Down low. Too slow. Come here, clown. Ah, upside down. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Charlie. Judith, how's it going? Hey, Uncle Charlie, show Mom how he mopped the floor with my hair. Well, it's not really mopping. It's more like dusting. What if you drop him on his head? I guess I will have to mop. <laughs> Wonderful. Where's Alan? He's in the kitchen. Walk this way. <laughs> Master. 
your factually ambivalent ex-wife is here. I'm not ambivalent, I'm exploring. Yes, mistress. Thanks for bringing Jake over. Well, I wanted to give you this anyway. What is it? It's the bill for my divorce lawyer. You haven't been paying them. Told you they'd notice. I also need you to look this over and sign it. And what is this? My lawyer recommended I take out a bigger life insurance policy on you. You know, in case you should die and can't pay the alimony and legal fees. Hi. Hi. Jake, your father's here. So how you doing? Good. Over the morning sickness? Yes, Alan. Uh, by my calculations, probably about a week, 10 days ago. That sounds right. Good, good. You have a nice break till the, uh, till the old hemorrhoids come a-calling. <laughs> Jake! <laughs> Judith, are we gonna talk about the elephant in the room? What elephant? Come on, you, me, the baby. I mean, we, we did have unprotected sex while you, you were on the- We did not. <laughs> yes, we did. Read my lips. We did not have sex. Oh. Hey, Alan. How goes it? Oh, uh, fine, Herb. Uh, how you doing? Proud as a peacock. Uh, honey, did you show him the sonogram? No. Oh, you should see her, Alan. Her? So, so it is a girl. Yep. One fresh-faced little fetus. Sans wee wee. I always wanted a sans wee wee. Well, you can't have mine. <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> hey, want to see how we're decorating the nursery? He doesn't want to see the nursery, Herb. Sure, he would you? You going with mermaids? Little girls love mermaids. Oh, actually, I was thinking little ponies. Little ponies? Yeah, why? Oh, gosh. Little ponies have little penises. <laughs> really? I didn't notice that on the stencils. Let's go take a look. I'm ready. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go see the baby's room. He never wants to see my room. That's because your room is a pigsty. Come on, Jake. We're going to be late for the party. I'm ready. It's very nice. Yeah, I think we're good. Turn around. Supposed to take the price tag off. But you said it was good to be seen in expensive clothes. You still want him to learn from his mistakes? Fine, can we go now? Hang on. Let's see the dance moves. Bum, ch, dum, bum, bana, dum, ch, dum, bum, bana, dum, ch, dum. Don't stare at your shoes. Eyes on the girl at all times. Pretend you care. <laughs> ch, dum, bum, bana, dum. Good, good, good. Now. How do you stand when you know Wendy's looking at you? That's it. Little head bob. Show me the sleepy eyes. I said sleepy, not brain dead. All right. Who's the man? I'm the man. Who's the man? I'm the man. OK, let's go get him. Twenty one thirty eight. Twenty one thirty six. Try the house with the balloons tied to the mailbox. Oh, right. Okay. Let's go. Where are you going? I want to meet her parents. Say hello. Find out when to pick you up. Alan, you take one step out of this car, and we'll beat your brains out with a tire iron. Thank you, Uncle Charlie. Have fun. Uh, call my cell when you want me to pick you up. There he goes. Maya's son is attending his first boy-girl party. <sighs> Who's that opening the door? Oh, oh, that's uh, that's Wendy Cho. Oh, good. She's cute. Kid's got taste. But she's like a foot taller than him. That's all right. When they slow dance, his head will be perfectly positioned. Get your mind out of the gutter. Right, like you never copped a feel with your ear? No. Okay, once with Aunt Sophie. Well, that was an accident. So you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Hey, dogs. Oh, hey. Hey, Jake. Alan, here, I need you to sign these papers for Jake's summer school. Uh, summer school again? 
Why not? He's getting good at it. Oh, my lord, who is that? He's my handyman. Really? I've been looking for a good handyman. Well, it's a little soon to know how good I'll he find is. find out. I'm starting to see a trend here. Besame, besame mucho. Como si fuera esta noche. That phony bitch! <laughs> yep, definitely a trend. <laughs> Summer school three years in a row. They might as well just make you the janitor. <laughs> oh, well, school sucks. That's because you go year round. <laughs> Imagine if you had a couple of months off in the sun. If I were you, I'd start teaching him how to throw sawdust on vomit. I could do that. Why don't you just go start your homework? What's the point? I'm already going to summer school. Jake. And if I flunk there, what can they do? Send me to regular school? Go. Actually, that sawdust job might be a pipe dream. Is it big one gone? Yeah, she went to get something waxed. We were scared to ask what. I just wanted to tell you I was helping you save you some money on the Redwood. Oh, that's terrific. How? My cousin, he works at a lumber yard, and that's all you need to know. Well, thanks. No problem. I'll get back to work. I like this guy. Of course you do. What's that supposed to mean? Charlie, he's a younger version of you. Oh, yeah, that must be it. I'll get it. There you go. He could be a doorman. Charlie, I really don't appreciate... I'm not saying right away. He could work his way up from door stop. Are you aware that your sleepover buddy was packing heat? Oh, yeah. Any hotter and she'd have burned my pubes clean off. Charlie, a gun in the house? Relax. She's a cop. Or was a cop. Or was wanted by the cops. I know we should mention cops. Unbelievable. So, so this was another one-night stand? Unless she comes back for her handcuffs, yeah. Boy, how much satisfaction can you get from that? Handcuffs? Not really my thing. But hey, she probably did some stuff last night that might not have been her first choice. No, I, I mean, how can you possibly get any satisfaction from an endless series of alcohol-soaked one-night stands? And even as the words are coming out of my mouth, I realize it's a stupid question, so forget I said it. <laughs> She's married to a cop. You know, I, I hate to see you wasting your life having drunken sex with women you don't care about. Who asked you to move back in and watch? You know who's good for you? Don't go there, Alan. M Mia. She was beautiful, she was smart, she got you to clean up your act. I'm telling you, Charlie, letting her go was the stupidest thing you've ever done. You're going there, Alan. I'm just saying you had this fantastic woman who was willing to marry you, and, and you just threw it away. And, and for what? Okay. You're there. You want to know why I gave up Mia? I'll tell you why I gave up Mia. I gave her up for you. Oh, oh, for me? Yeah, yeah, for you. She wanted you to move out so we'd have the house to ourselves, but I said, no way. I am not throwing my brother out on the street. Wow. What a loving gesture. Don't bite me. <laughs> and you know what you did? You married Candy and moved out anyway. So if you want to know why I let the best thing that ever happened to me get away, it's so the worst thing that could ever happen to me would have a place to live. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I guess it all worked out for the best, huh? How do you figure? Well, think about it. If Mia had been living here when Candy kicked me out and I came back, it would have been a very awkward situation. <laughs> I could get Berta to come back. But why do I have to be here? 
Because it's the only way you're ever going to sell your condo. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Welcome to our regular Monday night meeting. Do we have any newcomers? <laughs> my name is Charlie, and uh, my maid says I'm a sex addict. <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, I'm Alan, and I have a lovely condo for sale. <laughs> and I'm a sex addict. <laughs> it's price to move. Hi, my name is Pam, and I'm a sex addict. <laughs> Mia, it's Charlie. Look, you win. I'll change. No more meat, I promise. <laughs> come on, Mia, come out and smell me. Mia's not here. Do I have to smell you? Who are you? Ginger. So you're Charlie. Yeah, where's Mia? Hang on a minute. She told me to give you this if you stop by. A job in New York? Why'd she do that? Just read the note. <laughs> I love you too much to try to make you into something you're not, and I love me too much to settle for who you are. That's the part that always makes me cry. <laughs> I can change her mind. I'll fly to New York tonight. Do you have her address? Come on in. Can I get you something to drink? No, thanks. Yeah, hi. American Airlines reservations, please. You sure? I got all my boys here. Jack, Johnny, and Jose? Maybe a uh, poquito, Jose. <laughs> hey, are these actual baby back ribs? Yeah, help yourself. Thanks. Yeah, I'd like to make a reservation on the Red Eye to New York tonight. Hey, do you mind if I turn on the TV? I got some money on the Lakers. You bet sports? I'll bet anything. I had 200 bucks on my sister's pregnancy test. <laughs> How exactly do you know Mia? Oh, we used to do the uh, ballet thing together, but I didn't have the discipline. No kidding. I still dance, but just for tips. Oh, huh. I'll call you back. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking she probably needs her space. Well, probably. You mind if I hang out and watch the game? Be my guest. If you got cash, I could give you a lap dance at halftime. <laughs> That'd be swell. <laughs> All right, well, we've circled back around to hockey scores, so... Time for sex. Okay. And what kind of sex does Charlie want? Oh. Good to pick. It's kind of like Baskin Robbins. <laughs> you know, if they charged a thousand dollars a scoop. And sprinkles are way extra. Well, I guess if I have to choose, my favorite kind of sex is makeup sex. You're kidding. Oh, no, it's great. Here's how we do it. I will do or say something that will really irritate you. I can imagine that happening. <laughs> Then we'll have an argument, which will escalate into a fight. You'll sulk, I'll pout. Then after a couple of minutes, we'll look at each other and realize we're being silly and how lucky we are to have each other. Then I will take you in my arms and we'll hump our brains out. Fine, how do we start? Let me think. All right, go in the bathroom and look in the sink. What? Just, just do it, trust me. Good, go with that. Would it kill you to rinse out the sink after you shave? Sorry. All right, I forgive you. No, 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 not yet. Make me work for it. Okay. Damn it, Charlie, you're the most thoughtless man in the world. 
Oh, come on. I'll rinse out the sink when I brush my teeth. You haven't brushed your teeth yet? What kind of a pig are you? <laughs> nice touch. But just remember, you're not really mad about the whiskers. You're mad because I don't listen to you, and I don't like your friends, and I said snide things about your mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when do we get to the humping our brains out? Oh, we're not even close. This goes on for hours. <clears throat> Take this and pretend like you're working. Oh, sweetie, I don't have to pretend. How would you feel about slapping some greasy skin cream all over your face? Where are you going with this? I'm just talking skin cream. What do you think, I'm some kind of freak? Okay, but I'm not that kind of freak. Charlie, I had a weird dream. And it's getting weirder. Hey, buddy. Why aren't you asleep? I'm hoping I am. Hello, Jake. Hello, Miss Pasternak. Uh, listen, buddy, Miss Pasternak and I are kind of having a sleepover, because we're like, you know, friends. No way. Jake, I'm only your teacher from 8.15 to 3 o'clock. After that, I'm just a person like anybody else. Oh, this is more wrong than the time I saw Santa peeing at the mall. Okay, why don't we wrap up this after-school special and call it a night? Don't worry, Jake. This won't change anything between you and me at school. So you're still gonna be mean to me? That's right, same old junkyard dog. Oh, buddy, get some sleep. Oh, yeah, like I'm gonna sleep now. Do you think he'll be okay? Sure. He's just not used to seeing his teacher out of the classroom. And her pants. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll talk to him in the morning, make sure he's okay, and that he keeps this to himself. Thank you, Charlie. Oh, Miss Pastern. How come you never call me by my first name? I don't know, this just seems way hotter. <laughs> Everything all right? She's pretty upset. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a basket case. Oh, please, we're here for you, baby. <laughs> right, Charlie? Absolutely. <laughs> I guess I'll leave you two alone. You don't have to go. I don't? <laughs> Not unless you want to. Gorp. Fnark. Schnittle. Come on, Charlie. We all know what you really want to do. We do? <laughs> we do. Come here. Join us. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> so, what now? Do I really need to tell you? We'd probably be better off if you did. Okay. I want you to make Gail happy. <laughs> You're on board? It was my idea. Don't worry. She and I have done this before. In college. I knew it. <laughs> okay. Let's turn that frown upside down. That's a good boy. Hey, Charles? Yeah, babe. This is a dream, right? Of course it's a dream. You think I'm really gonna let you sleep with my best friend? Well, in that case, hang on. Because I'm gonna do some real freaky stuff. <laughs> I'd like to make a little toast to our families coming together. You're here. <laughs> to coming together. <laughs> Evelyn is gaining a daughter, and I'm gaining two sons. And a grandson. Don't interrupt. 
I'd like to say something else. I want this to be an old-fashioned marriage. Darling, what's mine is yours. We do not need a prenup. Teddy, we've talked about this. You have a lot of money. You should be protected. I don't need to be protected from you, baby. Daddy, wait a minute. Courtney, you... this is none of your business. But, Dad... But nothing. I love this woman. And I'm not going to bet against our marriage by bringing a bunch of lawyers into it. Wow. You must really love her. Yeah. This schmuck. <laughs> Excuse me. I had a thought about the ice sculpture. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people go with Cupid, but you got to remember, the bow and arrow melts first, and what you're left with is a fat kid dancing in shrimp. There's going to be shrimp? For the guests. So what am I? Don't feed me straight lines, dear. <laughs> Why would I feed her straight lines if there's shrimp? <laughs> I'll be out in a minute. I can't wait. You better let me in now. Charlie, get out of here. Oh, come on. You can't just cut me off like this. Hey, I can cut off whoever or whatever I want. Are you playing hard to get because you know it turns me on? I'm not playing, Charlie. OK, I just have to say, not playing turns me on more. <laughs> Charlie, are you in there with Courtney? No. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. I thought we had an agreement. Yeah, the agreement was Mom doesn't find out. Courtney? You OK, dear? Oh, I'm fine, Evelyn. I thought you might be upset about that prenup nonsense. And I just want you to know, I'm not after your father's money. I'm sure you're not. Believe me, I've got plenty of my own money. Of course, don't tell Alan and Charlie. They're annoying enough as it is. <laughs> I won't. Well, that was uncomfortable. Now, sand in my urethra is uncomfortable. <laughs> that meal was a freaking disaster. I'm going to stay with my family, try and calm my mother down. A oh, miserable bitch. <laughs> Your family hates me, don't they? Not just you. <laughs> I'll call you later. Do you believe your future mother-in-law shows up at a four-star restaurant wearing a tracksuit with the word juicy stretched across her half-acre ass? I can read, Mom. Can we go back? I forgot my doggy bag. We can never go back, Jake. Oh, come on. It's not the end of the world. Easy for you to say you're not marrying into the Adams family. Oh, like you were a prize. Slipping a prenuptial agreement into my fiance's menu? I am just trying to protect you from being wiped out by a vindictive ex-wife who will use your hard-earned money to finance a frivolous life of partying and shopping and unnecessary plastic surgery. Um, Mom? Every one of my surgeries was necessary. <laughs> And if I had signed a prenup, you would never have gone to music camp, and Alan would have an overbite you could use to open a can of Penzoil. I didn't know Mia's last name was Adams. I didn't know her sister was a cop. Was a cop. Now she's a dry drunk with a grudge and a 38. Well, I liked her. Well, that's because she had the same haircut as you. I was a little shocked that her father stuck you with the bill. You know why you noticed that? Because the two of you practically trampled each other trying to get to the men's room when you saw the waiter bringing it. I drank a lot of iced tea. <sighs> well, I had a very nice time. Sure. You got to inform my bride-to-be and her entire family that you had sex with me before you had sex with him. I was just telling Mia I know how lucky she is. Nevertheless, honey, it was not an appropriate toast. Juicy Pants almost choked to death on her lamp shank. 
Well, in all fairness, the woman was stuffing her face like a musket. All I can say is after tonight's little fiasco, I'm gonna have to completely rethink the seating chart for the wedding. Yeah, well, it won't be that complicated. Why not? Because none of you are invited. Man. Well, Mom, if you wear an animal print tracksuit to a nice restaurant, people are gonna make comments. <laughs> I agree. Calling you a cougar with arm fat was over the line. <laughs> Hang on. Hello, Mia. Call you back. Hi, Mom. How are you? Deeply hurt. Is this about me or Charlie? Charlie? Great. Come on in. <laughs> can you explain to me how your brother can be in a serious relationship? And not only have I not met the woman, he hasn't even bothered to tell me her name. Do you really need an explanation for that? <laughs> Do you want it to be about you? Her name's Mia. She's in the kitchen. Thank God I didn't know Anne Frank. Hello. Hello. I'm Evelyn, Charlie's mother. I'm Mia, Charlie's girlfriend. So we finally meet. So we do. One question. I'm listening. Can you fix him? <laughs> I'm trying. 15, 16, 17, 18. Jake? How about a hug for your grandmommy? No, thank you. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Hey, 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 keep it down, keep it down. Mia thinks I'm taking a power walk. This is a sad, sad day. I always figured you'd be the last guy in the world to end up whipped. I am not whipped. I'm considerate. Considerate? Yeah. See, I love Mia, and I want her to be happy. And I happen to know she's not happy when I smoke cigars and drink and gamble and stay out all night and eat meat and sugar and grease and fat and nap and swear and wear shorts and bowling shirts. Charlie, you ain't just whipped. You're rope saddled and gelded. They could use you to give rides at kids' birthday parties. I am not whipped. Yeah. Here, you might as well take one of these sacks since yours is empty. I'm not staying. We'll eat, we'll go. No coffee, no dessert. Well, you can't be rude. Watch me. I refuse to let that woman. Hi, Mom. Better late than never. Right on time. I was referring to the big picture. Hey, Grandma. And look, you brought Jake to meet my new beau. Come here, sweetheart. Now, tonight, you and I are going to play a game. And the name of the game is... Don't call me Grandma. <laughs> What kind of game is that? It's a fun game, honey. It only has one rule. You have to call me Evelyn. Okay. Try it. <laughs> Evelyn. See? We're having fun already. <laughs> oh, look, you didn't bring wine. Good. Too many people bring wine. <laughs> Tommy, darling, I'd like you to meet my sons. This is Charlie. Charlie, Hi. Tommy, how are you? Alan. Hello, Alan. Hi. And this is Jake. Yes, I am, Evelyn. Let's not beat it to death, okay? Good to meet you, Jake. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. Boys, this is Tommy's daughter, Olivia. Hello, Charlie. Hey there, stranger. <laughs> you two know each other. I thought I knew him. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, who would like a drink? I would like a drink. Charlie, come and help me make the drinks. Alan, talk to Olivia. Alan was a cesarean. Hey, Berta, you see my brother? Did you check his room? Thanks. 
sweetie, it is a beautiful car. Congratulations. Thanks, Mom. I'm really enjoying it. Well, your Aunt Sylvia loves hers. <laughs> Alberta, have you seen Charlie? Look out on the deck. I was just looking for you. I was in the garage. Oh, Charlie, I was just looking for you. I was looking for Alan. I was in the garage. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, sure. Blame the maid. Nice dress. Bite me. Okay. Meet me in the coat room. <laughs> Listen, after the reception, can you take me to the airport? You're flying home tonight? Yeah. I thought we had something going here. We did, and now I'm going home. Okay. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. Well, I don't think my boyfriend would like that very much. You got a boyfriend? He's more like a fiance. You're getting married? Why didn't you tell me you were engaged? I thought it would be awkward. <laughs> awkward? Be seated. <laughs> mm. Oh, we, we really shouldn't be doing this. Why not? They broke our hearts. Uh, yeah, but I'm kind of over it. I know it. Mm. Mm. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, maybe we could go out for coffee first, or, or a movie. Alan, is this going to happen with you or without you? <laughs> with me or... How does that work? The institution of marriage is not one to enter lightly. So we pause at this time to consider the depth of that commitment. Oh, Alan Harper, you animal! I can't believe Judith let you go! I have a question. Yeah? How smart do you have to be to have sex? Well, actually... No, 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 no. Can I... No, 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 no. But I was... No, no, no. Oh, come no. on! <laughs> Why do you ask? boyfriend's a doctor. Yeah. And doctors are supposed to be smart, right? Not as smart as they think they are, but, uh, <laughs> but go ahead. Well, when I'm in bed, I can hear them in bed. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, goody. <laughs> and mom's always telling him that he doesn't know what he's doing. How much do I love this kid? <laughs> Don't interrupt, Charlie. Go on, sweetheart. <laughs> So I'm thinking sex must be a lot harder than I figured. I mean, she has to tell him the same thing every night. Every night, you say? Berta, you had a semi-annual subscription, didn't you? <laughs> Come on, you guys, please. Can't Sorry, help no. you. <laughs> look, Jake, it, it, it's not that you have to be particularly smart to have sex. Yeah, yeah look, look at, at your dad. dad. <laughs> Jake, show me a Coke. Think of it this way. Uh, suppose you like banana cream pie. I do like banana cream pie. Well, good. Do we have any? <laughs> no. Well, then why'd you bring it up? I was trying to tell you something about sex. What does pie have to do with sex? <sighs> Can I jump in? No, 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 no. How about me? Excuse me, but if I can't talk, you can't talk. Am I right, Alan? <laughs> anyway... If you don't tell me you like banana cream pie and I keep bringing home something but else... I just told you I like it. <laughs> Want to know what kind of pie your Uncle Charlie likes? <laughs> oh, come on. I was... <laughs> I'm guessing cherry. <laughs> Please, I've got this. You've got squat. <laughs> at this rate, the kid's only going to get a stiffy at Marie Callender's. I myself am nutty for nipples. Let's try it. 
Okie dokie, artichokey. All right, hold this. Okay. What do you think, with or without the bra? I don't know. You're the one with the nipple issues. All right, then. Without. Yes, definitely without. Am I starting to sag? I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Am I hanging a bit low? I don't know. Go like this. I go like this. Stop it. Give me the blouse. Oh. 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 Want to see my nipples? Oh, yeah. You made me look at yours. You are so frisky. How does Alan ever put up with you? That you ask, how does his mother put up with him? Um. Charles. Didn't I ask you to confine your debauchery to outlet stores? Pamela, this is my mother, Evelyn. Mom, this is Pamela. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Your son is just adorable. That seems to be the conventional wisdom. I only met him and his partner last night, but we immediately hit it off. I'm sorry, his partner? Alan, his lover. His lover? God, I'm not outing you, am I? Oh, no, 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 no. Mom knows all about me and Alan, right, Mom? Of course. Alan's almost like a son to me. See, that's nice. My ex-husband's parents were not at all supportive when he came out of the closet. Oh, what a shame. What does he do? He's in advertising. Charlie writes a lot of jingles for him. Oh, I see. One hand moisturizes the other. <laughs> no, the only time Charlie was ever in the closet was when he was a little boy trying on my hats and underwear. Belting out the entire score of Hello, Dolly. <laughs> it was Mame, Mom. In fact, if anything, his lifestyle has brought us even closer. We cook together, we shop together, we go to all kinds of parties and charity events together. Uh, come to think of it, I have entered us in an Alzheimer's walkathon this Sunday. Mm, Sunday isn't really good for me. But you will be there anyway because we support each other in all our little causes, and you love me. Right? Right. Said. I love you, Mom. And I love you, too. 8 a.m. Sunday. I'll buy us matching tracksuits. It'll be cute. <laughs> Lovely to meet you, Pamela. Bye. If I didn't already know you were gay, meeting your mother would have convinced me. Want to get the door, Herb? Stop yelling at me! I am not yelling! This is yelling! You know what? This really isn't that funny. <laughs> oh, hi, Ellen. Charlie. Herb. Hey, is this a bad time? The Spanish Inquisition was a bad time. This is hell. <laughs> Come on in. So, what's going on? Little pre-wedding jitters? We could call it that, but we'd just be sugarcoating hell. Oh, don't worry. As soon as Judith puts on that beautiful white gown and starts marching down that aisle... She doesn't want to wear white. Says it makes her look fat. Oh, well, well, that's nice. She, she wants to look trim and fit for the honeymoon. You're sugarcoating hell again, Alan. Hey, you want to help the guy, stop talking and smother him with a pillow. Oh, great. Hey, there's the blushing bride. She doesn't look fat at all. Go ahead, give me the check. What check? Oh, uh, well, I, I figured, as long as I was here, that I would give you your last and final alimony check. <laughs> Got it. What the hell are you doing? It's just a little souvenir. I'll go find Jake. See? She's being a good sport. Let's get one with the big check. No, get the big check. Forget the big check. So, um... You know, uh, I, I read an interesting story the other day. Uh, married men live, on average, 10 years longer than single men. What if they don't want to? Come on. You and Judith were meant for each other. What, what could possibly come between you? My sister. You got a sister? Yeah, I'm sorry. She came out a few days early to help with the wedding, but it's not really helping. What'd she look like? Charlie. She doesn't have a therapist, does she? Charlie, I swear to God. So, what do you think? Should I wear it or have a vet check it for worms? No, oh, oh, it looks fine. Oh, Myra, this is uh, Judith's first husband, Alan. Hi. So how does this work? Do you get your original testicles back or does my brother give you his? 
Myra, the castration jokes are getting a little old. Not in my house. <laughs> oh, this is uh, Alan's brother, Charlie. Oh, yeah, the booze-riddled sleaze bag. She did not hear that from me. It's okay. Not like it's a big secret. Myra, where the hell is Jake? How should I know? Because I asked you to get him ready to go to his father's. Well, you also asked me to try on this satin stool sample. <laughs> Herb, tell your sister it's a lovely dress. Herb, tell your fiance the diet pills are affecting her judgment, but not her ass. That's it, she's gotta go. I can't throw out family. And that's the bitch of it, Herb. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, um, uh, Charlie and I were thinking of taking Jake out to a movie. We were? We were. Mara, would you like to join us? You didn't say anything about a movie. I wanted to surprise you. Hey, you know what? That's a great idea. Go to a movie with Alan and Charlie. Can I wear my pretty new dress? <laughs> Get her out, Herb. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. Tequila, checkbook, sourpuss. <laughs> Must be alimony time. No way, Charlie. Boy, you'd think for all that money, she'd at least come over and give you a lap dance. <laughs> Leave me alone, Charlie. In fact, you know what would be really funny? Where it says memo, write lap dance. <laughs> give her something to explain at tax time. Charlie, you got... OK. <laughs> So where's Jake? Sleeping at a friend's. He'll get dropped off tomorrow. Oh, man. I rented a movie I thought he'd like. Oh, what'd you get? Don't worry. It's educational. One million years BC? How is this educational? Raquel Welch running from dinosaurs in a fur bikini? <laughs> what is that, if not history? I'm afraid you're gonna have to watch it by yourself. Mm, won't be the first time. <laughs> What's the deal with that giraffe? How come you bring it out every time you write an alimony check? It's symbolic. Ah. Don't you want to know what it's symbolic of? No, I'm good. <laughs> I made it in ceramics class for Judith when we were dating. Huh. All these years, I've been shelling out for tennis bracelets and satin underwear. Well, some women aren't impressed with jewelry and lingerie. Well, sure, if you want to date a dead girl. <laughs> Hey, I just realized, your name is Al, and you're sending your ex-wife money, so it's al i money. <laughs> hey, hey, I just realized, um, your name is Charlie, and you're a moron. Alan, life is all about moving on. Now, in the animal kingdom, Sharks move forward while crabs move sideways. So the question you have to ask yourself is, are you a shark or a crab? Which way do sea monkeys move? Okay, that's Judith. Now, I thank you for your concern, but uh, I would appreciate it if nobody said anything and everybody just stayed out of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Why aren't you dressed? Alan, I told you I was picking him up early. Why isn't he ready? Go get dressed. I'm sorry. Yeah, that... you're always sorry, but I'm always the one who has to play the bad guy. Damn it, Alan. Okay, he's gone. I was thinking about you last night. Really? What were you thinking? Just what a nice time I had. Yes, yes, it was. <sighs> for staying out of it. You're welcome. My 
weekend starts on Friday when my mom takes me to my dad's house, which is actually my Uncle Charlie's house, who is my dad's brother, making him my uncle. His name is Charlie, which is why I call him my Uncle Charlie. <laughs> anyway, even though my parents are divorced, they still get along pretty good. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dad. Hey, Judith, how was your week? Just fine. Bye, honey. Bye, Mom. Hey, thanks for bringing him by. Oh, bite me, Alan. What the hell went on here last weekend? <laughs> What are you talking about? When I brought him home Sunday night and served him dinner, he tipped me with a $25 chip from Caesar's Palace and told me I had a nice rack. Uh, well, Judith. <laughs> you do? That's not the point. Where did he get the chip? Where is he learning this behavior? Hey, Judith. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> run away, run away. Did you give my son a $25 chip? No, I did not give him a $25 chip. Happy? He won it, fair and square. <laughs> you couldn't run away. All right, I don't care what you do during the week, but on the weekends, you need to remember you are a role model for an 11-year-old boy. Oh, that's a bad idea. Who thought of that? <laughs> Warning you, Alan, things had better change around here. There will be serious consequences. Legal consequences. Got it? Got it. Goodbye. There will be serious consequences. <laughs> Legal consequences. I don't care what you do during the week. <laughs> but on the weekends, you're a role model. I enjoy talking this way. Morning, Dr. Harper. Morning. I like your jammies. Thank you. I, uh, I like your... Thank you. Guess you're kind of surprised to see me, huh? Yeah, shocked. Well, I hope you know it is not the kind of thing I usually do. You know... Hop into bed with a fella zippity quick. It's really none of my business. Well, I don't. But Charlie is so sweet and special. Yep, he's a treasure. Yeah, and this works out well for you. Really? Uh, how do you figure? Since your car is still in the shop, we can carpool to and from work. I see. So, so you'll be coming back? Oh, yeah. Charlie asked me to stay the weekend. No kidding. Yepers, we really made a connection. And it is not just physical. Although the physical part is amazing. <laughs> Again, none of my business. It is like I have known him all my life. I know the feeling. You get over it. Hey, baby. Hey, yourself. Mm, do I smell toast? You do. Would you like a slice? I can put butter and jelly on it. Oh, deja vu. Ah, stop it! Terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Harper. That's okay. I wasn't even listening. I'm going to take a shower. Hit the road in about 20 minutes. I thought you were going to call in sick. Shush! He's kidding. It's okay. 20 minutes is fine. Great. <laughs> Alan, you know me as a cynical man, but in just one night, that little pixie has melted this cold, lonely heart. <laughs> what? <laughs> Teddy and Mom are downstairs. You're kidding. What the hell are they doing here? Apparently, you invited them. I did not. Yes, you did. On the phone, remember? Hey, Alan. Hi, Gurney. How you doing? Charlie, they're waiting. <laughs> yeah, we got a problem here. No, 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 sir. You got a problem. I made no promise. I broke no promise. You actually made a promise. Yeah, and I really tried to keep it. He did. I can sense his inner conflict as we were doing it in the back seat of the Bentley. <laughs> Look, just stall them. I'll be right down. Fine, but know this, Charlie. I am not taking the fall for you. How could you take the fall for me? I don't know, but it always seems to work out that when you get laid, I get screwed. <laughs> Just go. Great. 
just great. Hey, have you seen my dress? Why? I ain't going down like this. You're not going down at all. Why not? I have nothing to be ashamed of. Here, hit rewind. I'm sure you'll find something. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So, you weren't the one who was... Of course not. I already married the man. <laughs> I just can't believe he'd cheat on me on our wedding day. Excuse me? My father is lying here dead. With his pants around his ankles and lipstick on his hoo-hoo. <laughs> Oh my, what happened in here? <laughs> Berna, my husband is dead. As a doornail. <laughs> Has anybody called the cops? Well, you might want to consider it because you only got a limited window before he starts stinking up the joint. <laughs> Take a look at his pants. Well, the belt is buckled on an unworn hole. Someone redressed him. Any of you touch the body? <laughs> Interesting. We've got some perimortem ecchymosis on the posterior occiput. That means a bruise on the back of the head. And yet you still couldn't get into medical school. <laughs> so much for time of death. Looks like our boy here had some sexual activity before he bought it. Hit the light. I'm gonna check for semen. A Jackson Pollock painting. The ceiling fan's actually a cute story. 